What's up Raiders Bionic here, welcome to today's Raid Shadow Legends video where I'm excited to talk about not these pizza heads. I don't like these pizza heads, I keep saying it, they're for sale once again in the shop. Hopefully some of you guys can now beat me in the arena. Now what I want to talk about today is a follow-up of a video I did five months ago and it was called how to get more void shards, legendary shards, epic tomes, and legendary skill tomes the awesome resources or rewards that we love to get on a monthly basis or as much as we can, right? So what this was tracking is my clan boss top chest from Nightmare for four months. And guess what has happened since then? Well, I've transitioned to Ultra Nightmare and I've spent the last four months gathering all the screenshots of my top chest forum ultra nightmare okay so i put this into a table for you guys we're not going to look at all these screenshots but we will go through a couple i'll explain what's going on but first 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 before we do this guys i really need to apologize because in yesterday's video um i somewhat uh did a big error and i don't want to have you guys think that it is possible to get better stats than what is actually possible in game so um obviously i just i don't think i was thinking really to be honest i'll probably just say that you know what i was just testing you guys to see if you were all paying attention yeah that's what i was doing so at some point i say that this is a double roll on crit damage and that represents nine percent each roll obviously if there's a little two beside it that means there's been three rolls on it right i, I did the like little ones uh, all right, but for whatever reason, uh, I did these two thinking this was a double roll. It's actually, like I said, a triple roll, okay? That means that the best value that you can actually get from crit rate or crit damage on substats is up to 7%, not 10%. I think at some point I even pulled this shield up and I'm like, hey, that's 10% per roll, pretty solid, right? So no, this would be like 7, 7, and 6% to reach these numbers. And so what the video was trying to prove to you guys is that crit rate gloves can actually be viable if you have enough crit damage rolls on the rest of your gear like this right here, which would be five rolls, right? Not four, five rolls. And so um, because it is easier to get crit damage elsewhere, such as the amulet and eventually maxing out your great hall. Therefore, when you hit the end game, you might actually be uh, able to use crit rate gloves and get some decent stats on your champions. Then I show my FL, we reach nine seconds for a farmer. I did actually swap the weapon to do that. I had to use the weapon from fo Foley because I had a little bit more speed. Uh, but now I've been trying to get enough speed with like other items so that I'm able to actually farm with Athel 100% of the time. I'm short on crit rate a little bit here, crit damage now a little bit lower, but the speed is right. So anyway, still fine tuning this a little bit. Still, the message is the same. Crit rate gloves can actually be viable in the end game. Still, I wanted to clarify that it is impossible to get up to 10% per substat roll. Okay, uh, sorry about that. But like I said, I was totally just testing you guys. Okay, now moving on to the actual uh, video of this one which is my ultra nightmare chest okay so here's a glance real quick what it looks like comparing nightmare to ultra nightmare but first let's look at a couple of those screenshots and uh i mean it's not rocket science right we're just going to quickly cycle through these obviously all i'm tracking is void shards sacred shards epic tomes and legendary tomes i'm not tracking the quality of the gear because i can now get six star legendary pieces as you saw in my champions i'm starting to have a lot more uh cruel sets or pieces that are really really good I'm also not tracking the uh, potions here. I'm now getting the higher tier potions. On Nightmare, you're not getting these. You're getting the ones before. So obviously, uh, it is even better for that, not to mention even more Bruce. What I will say, however, is that I didn't always hit the top chest. In fact, it happened quite a lot in the first month. But then by the second, third, and fourth month, it started adjusting itself. But still, every now and then, I don't get the top chest just because I get screwed with the Spirit Affinity or something of the sword or i just literally forget to do a key every once in a while that does happen I'm not perfect i'm gonna blame it on kids and the lack of sleep uh but still okay uh as you can see overall it is better than the nightmare chests off the bat okay so we get a lot of epic tomes void shards especially the first months it was basically all void shards and epic tomes not sure what was going on maybe it was a fluke it's hard to say but that's why i've been trying to do more than just two three months i made it all the way to four months still 
for this to be 100% accurate, I would have to do this for like literally uh, like 10 months, right? If not more, I would have to get a lot more data points from other players and whatnot. So this is just me and my personal experience so far, okay? But yeah, I mean like, Legendary tomes are obviously a little bit more present, but you'll see that it's not drastically different from Nightmare. What is very different is the shards. And so I was pretty amazed to see just, you know, how many more shards I got. So anyway, let's go back to this um, from the Ultra Nightmare uh, top chest. Okay, so Nightmare, we got an average of two Void Shards per month uh, across four months. 1.3 sacred so we'll say one and then three epic tomes and then 3.5 legendary we'll say three okay so then what i did is i tracked these four months for ultra nightmare we have now not two but six void shards on average per month sacred shards 3.5 so we'll say three epic tomes 4.5 versus three and then legendary tomes kind of like on par so if i look at uh these right here compared to those I'd say it's roughly equivalent. I might have gotten really lucky with the epic tomes, but here's something a little bit more interesting. Assuming my first month was a little bit sketchy because I didn't always get the top chest, here's the average for the last three months. The one that I feel I was pretty much on point, minus a couple days here and there, we have an average of six void shards per month again, but 4.7, almost five sacred shards per month from this. Then we have five epic tomes, and almost four legendary tones, okay? So I feel like this might be slightly better representation and now that I'm that much better for Ultra Nightmare, but again, I still have issues, like I said, with the Spirit Affinity, so I know I don't always, always get the top chest, okay? But guys, um, I mean, this is a perfect example of why I keep saying the client boss is the most important aspect of the game you should focus on. For a free-to-play player like myself, this here is so valuable to have, right? Every month I have these extra resources to work with, and that is why I can slowly but surely always accumulate enough shards. Heck, I'm not even tracking the ancient shards, which there are a lot as well. So a lot of you guys are saying like, how did you get all those shards as free to play? I don't get any extra free shards from Plarium. Those perks do not include shards. I wanna make that clear. All I generate is from the clan boss, the events of the tournaments and whatnot, okay? Uh, the marketplace as well, every now and then we have a couple ancient shards, but that is how I get my shards, okay? So literally now I'm all on the Ultra Nightmare clan boss. I'm finally doing the highest possible content in the game for, for that and it is paying off, okay? So um, my team is not crazy. I'm still at a three, sometimes four key Ultra Nightmare. It really just depends on how quickly my clan will uh, beat the Ultra Nightmare clan boss in the morning. Because sometimes I wake up and like it's past 50%. And if it's Spirit, I, I know I'm not going to be able to do it unless I were to spend some gems. <clears throat> but I try not to spend gems to have a better representation of what it might look like for you guys who are actually sort of getting to that point, right? So again, sort of like trying to stay away from like spending or like paying to win in a sense, right? Even though I get free gems, but I'm just saying. So um, here again today, we got what uh, 24 million per key. I've been testing a slightly different build, but uh, it's usually in that range. I've had as low as 21 million on the Void Affinity with my usual team, but I've also had as high as 30.5 million on some Spirit Affinities with a slightly different team, okay? But I mean, um, I'm still overall pretty satisfied. And hopefully you guys will as well. Um, again, I really just wanted to give you guys these numbers, something to work towards uh, because it is so much better, okay? So I, I think it starts pretty good at Nightmare, but obviously you wanna move to Ultra Nightmare as quickly as possible. But this transition for me took a very long time. I was probably five, maybe close to six months on the Nightmare clan boss before I finally had the gear to move to Ultra Nightmare, all right? So guys, keep working hard. You'll get there one day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Can you guys verify these numbers? Is anybody else tracking this or am I just the crazy dude doing this on uh, on my own, right? But I'd love to know, okay? So let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys later.